Welcome, tech enthusiasts. Today, we'll guide you through the process of installing Chrome OS with Play Store on your device, combining the simplicity of Chrome OS with the versatility of the Google Play Store. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button below. We really appreciate your support. Restart your computer to BIOS setup. Once you are in BIOS, navigate through the menus. Look for an option related to Virtualization Technology, Intel VTX, VTD, or AMD V. This option might be under different names depending on your CPU manufacturer. Go to Boot and disable Secure Boot. Now save and exit the setup. After restarting the PC, search for features in Windows Search. Click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down and select the Windows subsystem for Linux, Hypervisor Platform, and the Virtual Machine Platform, and then click OK. Click Restart Now. After restarting, right-click on the Start menu, select Terminal Admin, and click Yes when prompted. Now copy the WSL update command in the description, paste it in the terminal, and press Enter. Now use the second command to set the WSL default version to 2. Once finished, close the terminal window. Now let's set up a Linux distribution. Open the Microsoft Store, search for your preferred Linux distribution, and click Install. Once the installation is finished, launch the installed Linux distribution as an administrator from the Start menu. This will initialize the configuration process and you'll need to create a user account and password. Once done, now download Brunch and Chrome OS images by clicking the links in the description. Download the latest version of Brunch. Now download the Chrome OS image. Expand the USB guide and scroll down, which includes links for both Intel and AMD processors. In my case, I go with Jinlan, because my PC has a 10th generation Intel processor. Navigate to the Recovery Images section and download the latest version. Now download Rufus. Rufus is legitimate open source software for creating bootable USB drives. Once the download is finished, Go to Downloads and extract the Chrome OS zip file. Now rename the Chrome OS and Brunch files as shown in the video. Chrome OS.bin and Brunch.tar.gz After renaming both files, open the Linux distribution. Some Linux releases may require the Universe repo to install some of the dependencies. Now add the Universe repo with this command. Copy the command from the description and paste it on Ubuntu, then press Enter. Enter your password. Press Enter. Now install the necessary dependencies such as pve, cgpt, tar, and unzip with this command. Copy the command from the description and paste it on Ubuntu, then press Enter. After all dependencies have been installed, change the directory to where your files were downloaded. Replace username with your Windows username. Keep one thing in mind, capital letters are case sensitive on the Linux terminal. Now unzip brunch with this command.
a Chrome OS image will be created with this command. The process may take some time, depending on the speed of your disk, please be patient. There may be a couple of GPT header errors, which can be safely ignored. The script will ask for confirmation. If you want to install this image on USB flash drive, press enter. Now the Chrome OS image has been created on your downloads directory. Now close everything and insert USB flash drive. Open Rufus. Select the Chrome OS.ing in your downloads folder and click start to write it to your USB. Once done, close everything and restart the computer. Launch the boot menu by pressing the escape, F2 or F10 keys, depending on the motherboard or computer's manufacturer. Select UEFI USB in the boot menu. The first boot will take a long time, please be patient. Click on Get Started and connect to the internet. Now click on Browse as Guest. Accept and continue. Once you are in guest mode, switch to the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt F2. Then log in as Kronos. Before continuing, you will need to know what disk you want to install. There are several ways to determine. In my example, I'll be using LSBLKE7. This command will show your disks and the partitions on them. It will also show their sizes. In my case, SDA is the disk to install Chrome OS. So enter the command sudo space Chrome OS hyphen install space hyphen DST slash dev slash SDA. Be absolutely sure before you continue that this installation will erase everything on the disk, including other partitions. Type yes and press enter. The installation may take some time depending on the speed of your target disk, please be patient. After the installation, reboot your device. Once you've restarted, finish a few basic tasks, like connecting to the internet and logging into your Google account. Configure wallpaper, display settings, and other things. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Chrome OS with Play Store on your device. Enjoy the seamless integration of Chrome OS and the vast app ecosystem of the Play Store. If you like our content, consider subscribing to our channel for more. Thank you.